So, after yesterday's boring, predictable shit against West Ham, we move on to Newcastle, a team that have lost seven of their last eight games, picking up a whole one point out of 24. So, in true Arsenal fashion, we will turn them into a prime fucking Barcelona, and they'll probably do us 1-0. Anyway, on to my team selection for this game. I'm going to make loads of changes for this because I'm absolutely sick to death of these bang average shit footballers that keep going on like they're fucking the best thing since sliced bread. Funny how none of them have come out on social media and apologised to the fans. Um, but there you go. Bellerin's probably still fucking modelling for Instagram and the rest of them just don't give a shit. So, my team selection for this game. I am going with David Ospina in goal. He can't be any worse than Petr Cech, who is just what he is, an ageing footballer, <laughs> an ageing goalkeeper. Um, Chelsea have had a result getting rid of him. Obviously, they got Courtois, um, who is a top-draw goalkeeper. But they would not have sold to a rival if Petr Cech was still any good. And he is what he is, an ageing goalkeeper. So, we need to strengthen in that position, as well as the other 10 in the next couple of windows. But... I don't trust Arsene Wenger with 1p, let alone fucking millions of pounds. Look at some of the players he's bought over the years. Nah, I don't want him spending another fucking penny at this football club. And as far as I'm concerned, like I said in my video last night, he needs to be sacked immediately. But he won't, and he'll probably get another two-year fucking contract, because that's how Arsenal roll. Yeah, brilliant, let's bring it on. Let's just let him run the fucking club into the ground. We'll get relegated... And it will still come out with shit like, well, uh, we are, we are going to look forward to this season in the championship and hopefully we can get uh, into the playoffs. Cunt. Absolute cunt of a geezer. But there's still blind, loyal sheep out there that follow this fuck and that is why he's still got a job. Anyway, left wing back. I am going with Kalasanak. I thought Maitland-Niles did really, really well and was one of the better players last night. But he ain't a left wing back. There was a stat that I've seen today that he completed more crosses, so i.e. the player he crossed it to won the ball, than Bellerin and Kalasanak have done all season. What the fuck? Maybe he should go right wing back because Bellerin's fucking useless. On to right wing back. I'm going with Dabuchi. Simple as that. Bellerin ain't getting back in the team for a while for me. Um, I think that, you know, for somebody so quick, he don't utilise his pace. He goes bombing down the wing, gets to the 18-yard box, stops and passes backwards. Mm, okay, mate, what's that all about? Then when the ball comes out to him and he's got a chance to whip a ball in first time, he decides, you know what? I'm not going to whip a ball in first time. I'm going to take a touch. And by the time I've took the touch, the defender will be back in position and I'll hit him and it'll go out for a goal fucking, uh, sorry, a corner, yeah? Or what I'll do is I'll take a touch and then I'll blaze it into one of the fucking executive boxes. Average shit pace merchant. Get out of my football club. So, on to the back three. I am going to go with, this is going to shock you. I'm going with Pear Mertesacker. Club captain. Unbelievably club captain, but he is, so the club captain should play. And he's playing in this game for me. And partner in him, either side, I'm going to give Monreal a rest because he's played every game in the league this season. I thought he was at, out of position a few times against West Ham yesterday, um, just letting players ghost off of him for the offside goal. Um, that Anatovic scored. Nobody had a fucking Scooby where Anatovic was and there was five of them stood there. So that clearly ain't working. Um, in the five at the back, he's actually done really well. And it's not any dig at Mon Monreal because I think he's been our best player this season. But I think he deserves a rest. 
and a total shake up of this team. So I'm putting Callum Chambers there and next to Mert Saka the other side, I am going with Rob Holding. Callum Chambers and Rob Holding are the future of this football club. That's why they were signed. They were signed as young up and coming players and we need to bed them in. Instead, we're going with Koscielny every week, who's what, 33? Got a world-class fuck-up in him, like he proved again. What world-class defender do you know that ends up being dragged out to the wing in stoppage time and then blindly firing a ball back across the 18-yard box? What the fuck are you doing? This is a geezer that got mugged off in a Euros final against fucking Edair. Who the fuck's Edair? Come on, man. Really? Nah. Koscielny, done. Get out. So, that's my back five for the game. On to midfield. I spoke to Maitland Niles a minute ago. He's getting in my team in central midfield. His actual fucking position. You wouldn't know it's his position because the deluded fucking dinosaur keeps playing him at left wing back. But he is playing in midfield. And next to him, I am going to put Jack Wilshere. I thought Jack Wilshere was our best player against West Ham, along with Maitland Niles. I thought them two were really good. Um, so yeah, they're both going in midfield. Something that Jack offers is that he will actually ghost past players. Um, you know, I just look at it and I just think that if that we're playing Newcastle, who have lost all these games, we need somebody to just go, do you know what? Fuck this, I'm gonna take the game by the scruff of my neck and I am going to fucking win us this game. Jack offers us that. So, on to the two behind the striker. I am going with Mesut Ozil. I thought he was not great last night, but the players in front of him just stood still, like statues, no movement, like we see every fucking week. Um, no coincidence that Giroud actually starts a game, and we're statues. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going with Mesut Ozil. Alongside him, I'm going with Danny Welbeck. Now, I don't really rate Danny Welbeck, and he can't score in a fucking brothel. But what he will give us is a little bit of directness because he does run at players. So, against a shit defence, which Newcastle have, hence why they've lost seven of the last eight, I think that's what we need. So I'm going with Danny Welbeck alongside Mesut Ozil, and up front, believe it or not, I'm going to play our fucking record signing. Who would have thought that? You buy someone for £50 million, you play them. Especially when they're your best striker, your top goal scorer. The turn to the go-to man to get you the goals. So, I'm going with Lacazette. There we go. That is my starting eleven for the game. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. In this game, I'm looking at it, and like I said, I've mixed up the whole fucking team. I'm fucking done with all these idiots that keep claiming they're fucking professional footballers. Well, start acting like professional footballers. All this fucking social media bollocks, fuck it off. I, if I was at that football club right now, and I was running things at that club, I'd lock all of them off social media. Every single one of them. Because they only want to fucking go on it when the going's good. They never want to go on there and face the fucking heat when it's going shit. And nine times out of ten, it's going shit. Because we are shit. Arsene Wenger's shit. Most of our fucking squad are shit. So, that's, that's my 1-11. to 11. That's my thinking behind it. I think we can get at Newcastle. I think we've got to start early. Um, go straight for the jugular from kickoff. And they're without John Joe Shelby, um, who stupidly got himself sent off uh, for two yellow cards in the game last night. So... That's probably their best player, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I'm going for a narrow victory in this game. I'm going to go with a 2-1 win. I do think that they will score. Probably a corner, free kick, something like that. But, you know, the Emirates crowd are going to be pissed off if we go 1-0 down. Because we're on a bad run of form at the minute. Um, no wins in the last three. And we're playing shit football. Take out the 33 fucking shots we had against United. Who cares? Seriously, who cares about how many shots you have in a game? You know, I, I just look at it again last night. I think we had 20 shots. We only had three on target. Doesn't matter how many shots you have. It's about how many actually end up in the back of the fucking net. 
And at the moment, we ain't putting the ball in the back of the net. So, start your fucking record striker, put the right players around him, a bit of pace, passing, yeah, a bit of dynamism, yeah, and actually fucking go for it. Instead of sitting back with this tippy-tappy bullshit. Look at Man City. Every single team Man City come up against are going to park the bus. But Man City find a way around it. And how do they do that? By getting down the wing. By moving players about. By making runs that will drag a player out of position so somebody else can run in behind. We don't do that. We just stand there like fucking statues and hope that we get a ricochet for a tap-in. Don't work like that, especially in this league. Anyway, that's my fucking run over. That's my 1 to 11. That's my score prediction. Subscribe, like, share. Lee Gunner 82 on Twitter. Lee Gunner 82 on Instagram. I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.